right, everybody, welcome to another Tri-State Triumphs for this week, where we are joined by the pride of Fort Madison, Iowa, and one of our favorite all-time Illinois College quarterbacks as well, Peter Jennings, who has gone on to great success at the Division Three level of college coaching. He is the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach for Wisconsin Whitewater, which, if you know anything about Division Three football, you know the preeminent powerhouse I believe 10 stag cup appearances over the course of the year. It's a fantastic program. And Peter, obviously this has been a unique journey for you. He's starting way back from Fort Madison. But when you started out, did you ever envision that coaching would be ultimate football endgame for you? you? You know, um, I think that when I was a high school student and even early in my college years, um, I really, I was one of those guys that set the average for uh, when they say people change their majors five to seven times, right? Like I had no idea what I wanted to be. I thought I wanted to be a lawyer, a doctor, a high school teacher, uh, anything, right? I, I just, it seemed like I, I changed with the wind. And um, it really was probably my junior year uh, of college when um, I was working a bunch of different camps over the summer at Illinois College for, for Co Coach Whirl, um, you know, our former basketball coach there and, and uh, doing all those things where I was like, you know what? I really could get into this coaching thing. This could be a lot of fun. And, and I could see myself uh, really diving into that and helping young, young men and young women, um, you know, try to further themselves. And so uh, it was probably when I was somewhere around 21 where I, was, I really decided that, that coaching has to be, uh, coaching truly is my calling. You're, you're kind of lucky in the fact that you, first, you grew up with educators as parents, which obviously kind of helps in that aspect. And you have had, even in less successful times, really good coaches along the way. How much, Pete, during the course of this, have you kind of felt the echo of all of that in your upbringing and your coaching now and kind of the coach you've become these years ago? Yeah, I'd say there's a ton of hands in, in the success I've had and, and honestly, a ton of hands in, in some of the uh, uh, lack thereof of success, you know, <laughs> some of the failures, some of the pitfalls. But, um, you know, every every failure is an opportunity to, to learn. And, and I was taught that at a very uh, young age. You can't fear failure. You, you've got to grow from it. And, and that you know, stems from my parents, Rose and Henry. And, and you're exactly right. My, the, the people that I have played or coached under – played for or coached under have been awesome, awesome mentors. And it's like anything, if you can, if you can emulate the best pieces of those people, um, you can become a pretty darn good coach and a pretty darn good educator uh, uh, when all is said and done. And what we truly do, I mean, it is education, right? Both my parents are teachers. Uh, my wife is a professor, right? Like her whole family is either teachers or in the medical field, right? So it's like, um, I'm surrounded by it. And um, we always go back to if, if something affect, negatively affects, and this is you know, from Coach Bullis uh, here at Whitewater, if something affects the learning of our players, we've got to remove whatever that is. We've got, we cannot allow anything to mess with our learning uh, and our teaching. And I've, I've, I've dove into that theory full on, and, and, I, and I love it, and, and I really do focus on it. I always thought that watching you, one of your great talents at quarterback was you were a virtuoso type guy. I mean, it, it seemed like you could process information quickly and on the fly. And that, that's huge for a quarterback. First of all, I think that parlays well as to an offense coach as well, because you see the name through the most important eye in the field. How much is that, sir, Pete, when you're, when you're kind of looking at your playbook and when you're trying to reach your, you know, your, your quarterbacks in particular, but the guys on your offense, do you still see the game of quarterback eyes? I, I sure hope so. I think so. I believe I do. Um, I, I, I treat the game like I do. Um, and you're exactly right. It is, it's, it, you know, there is a gift to it. There, it, things naturally flow for some people, right? Some people are naturally better at math or, or linguistics come more naturally to them, right? Like I couldn't speak another language to you. You know, like I have no, no idea, right? English is pretty good. But um, when it comes to football, it, things do, uh, do flow pretty well for me. And, and that goes back to the education piece uh, and how we educate our players because I'm going to stare at – or not stare, but I'm going to sit in a room with five other quarterbacks, right? And they all are going to learn in a very different way than I, than I take in the game. And I've got to keep that in mind because just because something is very simple to me, a concept simple to me, and I can see it, and maybe two other guys see it just like I do. There might be three other guys in that room that are looking around like, what the heck is Coach Jennings talking about? So I've got to make sure that I can um, create an environment, a learning environment in our quarterback room, and then overall in the offensive uh, room that 
these guys are getting the information in, in varied ways so that they can take that and that they, it can resonate with them in, in their own unique, uh, in their own unique minds.